And Rachel, it was also an interesting, when you reported that report from the New York Times about Donald Trump gave these witnesses permission, gave, authorized them to speak to the committee. It's such a strange bit in, in, this, in this story. Uh, and I, I, my theory about it, just a theory, just a theory, is that the source for the New York Times on Donald Trump <laughs> authorizing this was Donald Trump because the, the reporters exactly. of that story have direct access to Donald Trump they have in the past. And it sounds like Donald Trump just trying to say, I'm in complete control of this. The, the yes. White House, the former White House counsel did not go and testify there today on his own without checking with me. I authorized it. That, that, it's just I'm a theory. I'm in just a theory. I, I, I'm in complete control. He's definitely still deferential to me. There is yeah. nothing to worry about. All yeah. this is fine. I don't smell anything burning. I know. Like, that's ex that's exactly what I thought as well. I mean, s people who, you know, one time delivered a newspaper to the White House while Trump was president are like, executive privilege, I can't testify. But the White House counsel and the deputy White House counsel showing up, the idea that this is something that but does doesn't bother Trump at all in terms of privilege claims, uh, just puts the lie to the whole thing. So well, I, I, I would bet money that you're sur what you're surmising here is And correct. when you asked the congresswoman about it, I was watching her answer very carefully, and she did what she's supposed to do, which is she didn't turn over any cards at all uh, as a member of the committee. But it certainly had the air of that had nothing to do with anything that happened today. I mean, it, you didn't get the feeling that there was the slightest mention of that uh, in the committee today. Yeah, she was She was like, <laughs> you know, it's breaking news. And yeah. so I don't, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't want to, mm -hmm. wouldn't want to guess. Yeah, she was very, she was very diplomatic about it, but... I mean, we shall, there's a lot that's going on right now that is probably creating a burning smell, a proverbial burning smell around uh, the former president, including what seems to be Rudy Giuliani potentially moving toward the end of his uh, federal criminal investigation around his actions in Ukraine, uh, the White House counsel testifying today, his daughter and son-in-law testifying recently, uh, what's just happened in terms of the civil case against him in New York State and the New York Attorney General. I mean, all of this stuff is cooking at the same time. So I'm sure it's a, you know, a little hot in here anyway, but to the extent that he wants to proclaim that he's in control, I, c I, I can relate.